This week on C Plus News Time, the Academy hit its diversity goal way ahead of schedule by like three years. Looks like they were hard at work making sure blacks, Asians, Hispanics, and women were represented in the newly reformed Oscar voting family. And Whoopi Goldberg is even on the board of governors. Great job, Cheryl Boone Isaacs. Yeah, yeah, there's five other women joining the board, but it's Whoopi freaking Goldberg. She's got an EGOT, dated Ted Danson, and made the wonderful, timeless film Theodore Rex. She's a legend. I hope one day to be infamous in everyone's eyes. What are you saying to me wrong? Infamous? What, what does that mean? Okay, I thought it was like that video game where you can shock people to death. While I figure out how to become Pikachu, you can enjoy my shocking personality on this. Ooh hoo hoo! C plus news time. I didn't really get shocked. It was a bit. I'm sorry. It's C plus news time. Delivering to you the news you didn't know about, the news you didn't care about, and the news you didn't know you cared about. With host Chad White. Now, here's that host, Chad White. I just got this sweet new IUD and I'm going to start raw dogging some randoms tonight. Welcome back to C Plus News Time. I'm your host, Chad White, and this is the comedy news that you didn't know about for the week of July 3rd, 2017. First up, next, and finally, after one tumultuous show and another less tumultuous but still kind of one-sided show, the Oscars are finally on track to being, as the kids would say, diverse lowercase a, capital F. The Academy of Arts and Sciences, the official name for the party that handles the Oscars and its surrounding events, recently unveiled 774 new members, up from last year's previous record of 683, that were chosen to join their illustrious club. Should each of these people say yes to the dress, the total number of Academy members will reach around 8,500. These people include actors like Dwayne The Rock Johnson, directors like David Ayer, and music makers like Lin-Manuel Miranda and Justin Doubletime Hurwitz. Keep in mind, just because hundreds of people were asked to join, they could also not accept the invite. What's more is there are names on this year's list that stand out. Some of these inductees are downright confusing. How the hell was Betty White not already a member? Lou Ferrigno too. But then there are people who have earned their way on the list, including SNLers Kate McKinnon, Leslie Jones, and Amy Poehler, Maya Rudolph, and Molly Shannon. Let's take a deeper dive into the 774 invitees. 39% are female, while 30% are people of color. In comparison to last year's 683 new members were made up of 46% women and 41% people of color. Since 2015, the percentage of women asked to join has increased to 359%, and the percentage of colored people asked to to join a list were 331%. And I can say colored because I'm one of them. Unless you're in the genre of people or from the 1940s, you're out of luck. Like I mentioned earlier, there are branches of the Academy. Film editors, designers, and even casting directors are among several other categories that are also invited. Within certain branches, more women are invited than men. I don't know why the Academy had the need to point that out, but kudos, I I guess. I have to say, really, that I enjoy this new Academy. Although I do feel as if they're trying to fill some status quo. They're doing the same thing when a kid gets in trouble for knocking over a vase in the house. Sure, he shouldn't have been playing with his wiffle bat and ball in the house in the first place, but he doesn't have to pretend to be the angelic kid that he's not later on. What I'm saying is the Academy should have been inviting people like this regardless of a Twitter hashtag from a bunch of internet users. Academy president, fellow black person, and non-fellow lady Cheryl Boone Isaacs told legendary Deadline writer Pete Hammond, quote, We are not looking at numbers in that way. What we are looking for is inclusion. Whether these numbers will continue to be at these levels, we will know each year, but... Probably not. We are not looking to grow the organization. We are looking to have our organization more representative of men and women here and around the world who are participating in the art form. We are not looking to increase membership. 
The goal is instead to increase a diverse membership that represents us around the world. But shouldn't that have been the goal from the time you took office, Miss Isaacs? I love you and all the work you've done, but you've been a part of the Academy for 30 years. This fight should have started when you started. Isaacs joined in 1987, eventually becoming president in 2013. I won't discredit Isaacs completely. After all, she's been instrumental in a lot of success for women of, and people of color in the world of the Academy. Here are a number of feats she was able to accomplish in the last few years. She aimed to gather younger and more diverse voters, she fought for the movie Selma to get nominated, and speaks often on the previously discussed lack of diversity in the Academy, and she promoted Asian cinema. To the very least, she's been able to make moves in the last four years, even if it's just a discussion on the topic. But one of her goals should be to reform the Academy from within in conjunction with the outside. That's the best way to get anything done. She was able to get rid of the cap of the organization had for new members, which allowed the past two years' numbers to be astronomical. But piling on more dirty clothing on top of an already big pile of dirty clothes isn't such a good idea. I hate to bring politics into this, but think of it like this. When a new bipartisan bill needs to get passed, senators and congressmen from both sides need to help of one another. With that said, Isaac should be talking to the aging white dudes that make up the Board of Governors. And we know they're white because 31 of 51 are old white dudes. Replace Isaacs with Wilby Goldberg, and the demographics are still the same as they were in 2015. And now the Academy is three years ahead of its proposed Diversity Avengers Initiative, where everyone is Black Panther, Falcon, Black Widow, War Machine, Scarlet Witch, whatever the hell Vision is, Maria Hill, and Black Nick Fury. We've officially made advancement within the Oscars. The numbers sound off, though. By 2018 Oscars, 72% of the members will be male, while 87% are white. But it's progress. Steve Pond of the Rap has done the math. He writes that in order for parity, the Academy would need to add 1,700 women by 2020 to double female numbers, a goal that Isaac sees to complete. So the next three years of the new classes need to consist of 1,100 women total, evening out to 370 per year. With those numbers, it still missed the mark by almost 200. Isaacs and the Academy still have a long ways to go when it comes to diversity. She's been pushing for years, but now she's got the powerful fists of Twitter users behind her. With hashtags, almost anything can get done, except impeachment. Please focus your energy on something more useful, guys. And that's all the news I have for you for this week on C Plus News Time. Why don't you subscribe and check us out on one of our other videos? Of course, you can always head to the website, cpluscomedy.com, where we've got so many different things that only I can provide you with. You can follow us on Twitter at C Plus Comedy. Follow me on Twitter at Chat Black White. Like us on Facebook and head to the website cpluscomedy.com to listen to the new podcast, The Constitutionals, starring me, where I talk to myself. So it's kind of like this. You're welcome.